let's use the COVID-19 dashboard. So we'll first start by inputting our country. We'll then go into the department list. I've already filled in some um, departments, but feel free to remove them, change them, and add to the list. We'll then go into the type of measures. As you can see, once again, I've added some dummy um, measures, but feel free to write over, um, add to it, or remove some. We'll then go into the data input section and start with the case count. <clears throat> we can either input the number of cases in the world in your country that we've entered into the data setup, um, the company total, or um, per department. As you can see, this list is dynamic and based on the department list that we've entered just a few seconds back. Let's update the company total only. So hospitalized two, cured ten, let's say one death. As you can see here, um, we've got the date that the data was late, last updated. So it does help us visualize um, up until when the data was inputted and start inputting from there to have continuity in data. So here, as you can see, the company tool was last updated on the 21st. You can just say that this is the 22nd data. You can just hit save. All right, perfect. Let's go into the database now. If we scroll down, we can see that this is the info we just updated. You can then go into the infected suspected list. Let's just put, for example, random sample sold, so confirmed, the measure taken. You can see that this is the updated list from the data setup that we originally updated. So you can just put mandatory use of mask. <coughs> and just put the date the measure was taken. All right, that's updated. Once everything has been filled in, we can just go and check the information into the dashboard. So as you can see, the dashboard is broken up into three pages, the company situation, worldwide situation, and the daily measures taken. The date ranges that we choose to see on the dashboard is selected here. This date range is selected for all of the dashboards. So if I'm changing the date here, you can see that all of the graphs will update accordingly. 